Well, it's time to feed the worms, so we're going to pulverize these scraps that we've been saving for a little while. <clears throat> some strawberries we picked this past week. We got some holes from, or caps from them. Some old salad. Some old broccoli. I'm going to throw it in the Vitamix and make a little slurry for the worms. It's about four cups worth of pulverized veggie fruit scraps that we will now spoon into their bin downstairs. Before we go downstairs, <clears throat> and the whole reason why I pulverize this is because basically it accelerates the whole process of them breaking down um, the food scraps. Pulverizing it like this creates a lot more surface area. Particles are a lot smaller and they can just basically chomp into this and digest it. And the worms can eat uh, up to half their body weight in a day. So probably within two weeks time they will uh, process that because there's enough worms in the bin now that they can really, they can really go to town. So we're going to take this down. We're going to spread it into, you know, on top of their bedding. <clears throat> Probably bury it just a little bit. And we're going to put a fresh layer of uh, pulverized leaves on top um, to control odors and to discourage flies and things like that. The other thing, too, is I didn't add any water. So it took a little longer to grind this up. <clears throat> I just used the plunger to kind of plunge it down and so the only liquid that's in this is from the actual scraps which will help keep down on uh, or keep the moisture level in check so that we don't get a bunch of mites and other things in the bin that aren't necessarily bad but they're not necessarily desirable either so so here we are I've got some spent coffee grounds about four cups of this uh, pulverized veggie slash fruit scraps Got a little bit of rock dust. Here's our bin. Now you can see this material. I mean, they really worked this pretty good. So what we're going to do is just dig out some sections. Try this whole back half here, and we're going to add our uh, material. Then we're going to bury it, and then I'm going to put um, a fresh layer of leaves on top, and we should be good to go. And then I'll check it again in a couple weeks, see what they've done, their progress. So we're just going to dump this in. I know it looks like a lot of food, and it is It is a pretty good amount. But again, I think they're going to work through that in a relatively short amount of time. I'll probably sprinkle some... Uh, dust on there this would give them a little grit to do eggshells and stuff I'm just going to throw that back on bury those scraps and they will find that 
you know, if, um, tomorrow morning or tomorrow sometime if I come down here um, and we dig this out, there'll be worms all over it. Now, there's still a little bit of stuff that they're working through and whatnot, but for the most part, they've really gone through this. I mean, this was, it was solid leaves uh, a couple months ago, and now it's, it's filled with castings. So, our next step is we're going to, and there's plenty of moisture in there. We'll go through and put some more leaf mulch, leaf mold on top. That's good. Then we will go ahead and uh, we'll add a little moisture to it. Okay, I'm trying to get this close. Just so if they do come up into this. And that's probably enough right there. Again, we don't want it too wet. We don't want to attract things that... Or encourage uh, things that shouldn't be in there. So, that's that. You know, as you can see, we're getting... It's getting more full. There's a... Uh, Quite a bit in here. I could probably do this maybe one more time and then we would think about adding another tray onto the worm bin here. So so it's been right at one week since we added the four cups of ground up veggie scraps. Let's check and see. Where are the veggie scraps at bud? They're not there. They're gone. The worms ate them all, bud. And that was like in a week. Yeah, one week time. One week's time. Where's the banana? I haven't put that in yet. <gasps> so in one week, they devoured four cups of ground up veggie scraps. You, you put one on each corner. No, I put it all into this corner, for a big pile, four cups, and they. And they all. all came over. So, I put another four cups in. Still there. Right here. I just did that. So, it's still there. Did that uh, last night, and it's still here, but they, the worms have found it, and they're starting to drill into it. So, it'll be interesting to see how long it takes them to get through that. And there's about five cups of food right here. So, it'll take them, I think, a little. Mm, it may take a little longer. I added another layer of bedding too when I did that because hey, the. This? That's tape, bud. No, like, what is it? There's nothing in there yet. Where's the watermelon? The, the watermelon's out at Grandpa's house, bud. Oh. You can check on the pumpkins, though. Once you open the garage door, you take a look. Oh, yeah, I meant the pumpkins. You gotta open up the garage door. So we put five cups in here. Um, we'll check back in a week and see how those are doing. Each time that I do add um, a little pile of food, I try to put it in corners of the bin, you know, ideally in one corner so they can kind of concentrate on that. I bury it to cut down on uh, flies and things getting into the bin. And then I've got some, uh, some leftover leaf mulch. And I've got a whole other trash bag that's outside that I'll be using uh, for bedding. Daddy, you need to add another one of these once they're done with that Yeah, food. We'll, we'll work on that. So, I add a little layer of that on top, and the carbon uh, absorbs the odors, uh, any odors from the food scraps. Hey, Daddy, maybe you could put those things that are left from the strawberries and banana, you could put that in there once they're done with that food. Yeah, possibly. 
So anyway, we're going to let the worms get back to doing their thing. And uh, this, this tray, it's starting to get heavy. There's quite a bit um, of castings in here. Do I think you each... their population, like... I think every like couple weeks their population doubles, and so uh, there's probably at least three pounds of worms in here now. Which is like a thousand. There's uh, about oh, I'm trying to think. Three probably about three thousand worms in here. That's why I say it's heavy. That's part of the reason why it's heavy. And because of all the leaf. Yeah, so. All right. Well, I guess that's it for now. To next time. Happy gardening. Ooh. Got some leachate coming out there, bud. Look at that. We can dilute that down uh, by adding it to water. Yeah, that sounds a, terrible. Be a natural fertilizer. It does smell a little bit, doesn't it? It's, it's probably because I put the broccoli in. It kind of smells like broccoli, doesn't it? Because it's diarrhea. Alright. That's it for now. Until next time. Happy gardening. Bye.